Thursday, the 23rd of May, and as you can probably tell, we went again to the book rescuers. Uh, found a few things, unfortunately still no real uh, manga section. It would seem that that stuff gets bought up pretty quickly, but, uh, but still got a few goodies. And something I forgot to show last time we were there, they have a front desk that is entirely built out of encyclopedias, which I think it's pretty neat. <laughs> uh, I'm not actually sure what the uh, like structural integrity is of it and how it's all like staying together. It might just be a stack of books entirely. Either which way, it's pretty impressive. And uh, and these are the things that we got. Serena got a couple of puzzles since she is the puzzle queen. We got a Bug's Life. We got Great Mouse Detective, Mulan 2, very much building on the uh, Disney VHS collection. And you see there the Tigger movie. Oh goodness, what else? Great Ape Escape and Hunchback of Notre Dame. No, 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 the, uh, the Lady and the Tramp. Great Ape Escape. I don't know where that came from. Uh, and then we got a couple of the Harry Potter books that we have lost over the years. Uh, we almost have all of them once more. And just as a, an aside, you know, separate the art from the artist. We do not agree with J.K. Rowling at all on uh, her, her stances on particular hot topics that you're probably familiar with. Yeah, we're not about that. Anyways, we also got a board game. The Lord of the Rings Pictionary sort of thing. Trivial Pursuit. Uh, I think it's like seen it. It comes with a DVD or a couple of DVDs. And Serena and I are huge Tolkien nuts, as you might already imagine. So we'll probably do very well at that. <laughs> and then beyond the joy shopping there, we also did some actual shopping. We got food. Where did the chicken go? Oh, it's still in there? Goodness gracious, I left the chicken in the microwave. Uh, we got some some fried chicken. Uh, Serena got a sandwich, and then we got the normal groceries and stuff that we ordinarily would get because we are trying a new recipe for dinner tonight. Not completely new because it's bibimbap, and we've had bibimbap before, but it is slightly different. Serena sourced it, and I am excited to see it. But first, chicken. This has been 29 Dragon Ball moments that were ultimately censored. If you enjoyed yourself, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and enabling notifications so that you can be alerted on the following episodes. Either which way, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Man, it's dark in the recording studio, isn't it? Goodness gracious. Six hours later, it is again chicken time. Uh, briefly recorded a spot for a Dragon Ball channel, which is what you saw there. And now it is again chicken time. I know I mentioned that we were gonna do the bibimbap, but Serena's not hungry. I am only mildly hungry. And we do gotta eat, you know, the chicken. So it'll be better today than it'll be tomorrow. So that's dinner. And then what's more, more important than dinner though, is dessert because dessert is a caramel apple pie. Uh, this is the exact same pie that we got for Serena's birthday just a couple of days ago. We'll shoot at this point over a week ago. Uh, time flies. <laughs> and it was very delicious, so we thought that it would be prudent to acquire more of it. And I tend to agree. Uh, Serena is playing more Tears of the Kingdom. To no one's surprise, she's actually progressed really, really far in the story. I'd say, like, in the main story, I don't know. She might be, like, 80% done. Though it's hard to determine what exactly the main story is. But if you think of... I'm not going to do any spoilers here, but if you think of one major plot line, I feel like she's, like, 80% through it. And then there's a lot of other, like, main story peripheral stuff. But who's to say? Uh, she definitely still has hundreds of hours left in this. What do you think? Yeah, I don't think I'm as far as you think I am. I'm just impressed, that's all. <laughs> I'm just impressed. She's, uh, she's picked up on it very well because for both of us, it was kind of difficult. We hadn't played Breath of the Wild for years between that game and this game. Obviously, it took, what, six years between the two of them, but if I was a little bit uh, more gifted with foresight, I would have played maybe a little bit of Breath of the Wild prior to picking Tears of the Kingdom back up because there was definitely still like a like an acclimation period of getting used to the controls and the gameplay and all that, but it didn't really take all that long anyways. 
it's a very user-friendly game and a very fun game at that, and I thoroughly enjoyed playing it and watching Serena play it. And there's even people beyond that that I've been watching as well. So <laughs> lots of Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, it's taken over our lives as of late, and, uh, and I guess that's what's going to happen because it is a great game, and I'm sure you know that. Either which way, like I said, it's chicken time, so I am going to get down on that and finish things up here. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I hope that you enjoyed yourself. With that said, see you tomorrow.